Hi there, my name is Kellen. I'm a product manager for Tektronix. We're here today to talk about some calibration for vector network analyzers. The calibration procedure for our TTR500 series is fast, easy, convenient, and will ensure the best measurement accuracy. All right, so the first thing that we'd like to do uh, to start a calibration process is to start by defining our frequency span um, for our calibration. So we do that by first selecting the start frequency under the stimulus. And you can see that when I click that, this top menu here um, allows us to input a start frequency. And we're going to select 100 megahertz. Uh, just for this example. Now we do the same to define our stop frequency. Again, we click on stop. And we can define a stop frequency. In this case, we're going to use 4.1 gigahertz. Click the check mark to accept the changes. Now we can define our uh, amount of points that we'd like to sweep across. So to do that, we'll select Sweep Setup under the Stimulus menu and select Points under the Sweep Setup submenu. Here we have 201 already defined, and that number is perfect. Click the check mark to accept. Now that we have our sweep start and stop frequency ranges set and our number of points, we can go ahead and begin our calibration procedure. To do that, we go under the response menu and click Cal. Now we define the Cal kit that we'd like to use. So under the submenu, we select Cal kit, and our pull down has a number of predefined Cal kits that we can choose from. In our case, we'll be using this OSLT type N. Uh, BN533844 CalKit. Now from here, click the Calibrate button. And depending on the type of calibration that you'd like to do, if you want to do a single one port cal, you would click on one port SOL. In our case, we're going to do a two port cal or a two port SOL T cal. So we click on that. And this little sub menu pops up. So <clears throat> now we begin. We're going to start with port 1, and we're going to do a open short load cal. We're going to repeat the procedure for port 2, and then do a through. Now to do so, I'm going to take my 4-in-1 mechanical cal kit and take the open, the open port and connect it to port 1. Once I've made a secure connection, I'm going to click the open button, and it will register that measurement. I'll repeat this procedure uh, exactly the same for short and load. So unscrew the open. Screw on the short. Once that connection is snug, Click short, and then repeat one more time for port one, load. Now, for all intents and purposes, if you went ahead and did a one port cal, this would be a complete calibration. You could click apply, and, your cal and you will be, for all intents and purposes, completely caled on port one. Uh, in our case, we're going to do a two port cal. And this port two, instead of doing it at the port, we're going to extend the port with a cable and calibrate at the end of the cable. So we're going to connect our type N cable to port 2. And we're going to repeat this procedure all the way through again, open, short, and load. But instead of <coughs> doing it on the port, we're going to do it at the end of this cable. Starting with open, and finally load for port 2. Now that both ports have been both completely OSL calibrated, we're going to need to do a through calibration. So I'm going to disconnect the cow kit, and I'm going to use the through to connect from port 1 directly into port 2. There, I click through.
and then click apply. Now my device is fully calibrated for both ports 1 and 2. We can check this by looking at all four of our traces. and verifying that the response is what we wanted. And now you've completed a full calibration of your instrument. In our next video, we'll show you how to take a basic two-port measurement. Thanks for watching.